we want to respect the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we want to respect the Word of God. Amen. And we want to be so that we can be good stewards over what our ears will hear. So minimize your walking. I'm going to ask out in the front that everyone come in except one assigned person. If you can hear me. And move quickly if you don't mind. If somebody will tell you. Everybody out there, come in except one assigned person. They hear you. Not just hear me from the TV, but they got to come inside. Yeah, they say they heard you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now they can move quickly. Move quickly. Thank you. I'm just obeying God. If you have a ear to hear the Spirit, you'll know the voice of God. All right. Amen. 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 And again, I say, minimize your walking. I understand if you have to, but minimize it. Because we want to respect the move of the Spirit of God. Amen. We want to respect the Word of God. Amen. Because He's the one that's going to be speaking through my vessel. Amen. I yield. I submit. Amen. And I'm not just yielding and submitting now. When He gave me this Word, it dealt with me. And I immediately yield and submit it and allow Him to deal with me. And He said, now release it to my body. And not just new liberty as a body, but he that has an ear. If you're watching by camera or when you watch it on YouTube, he that has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying in this hour. Hallelujah. Amen. So, God gave me this back in January. And I honor the man of God, Minister Thomas. Our Sunday school teacher. If you're not coming out to Sunday school, I admonish you to come. I'm telling you, it's a powerful word that be going forth from the Sunday school lesson. And today is just tied right in. And Minister Thomas does an awesome job. We honor you. And I know I talk a lot, but I just get excited about the word. But we honor you, and can we celebrate, Minister Thomas? We honor chapter 20, verse 7 and 8, talking about holiness. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 7 and 8. says, Sanctify yourselves therefore, and be ye holy. For I am the Lord your God, and you shall keep my statutes and do them. I am the Lord which sanctifies you. Let me read that again. Sanctify yourselves, therefore, and be ye holy, for I am the Lord your God. And you shall keep my statutes and do them. I am the Lord which sanctify you. Amen. Father, we thank you. We give you praise, honor, and we give you glory. We thank you for your presence. Holy Spirit, I thank you. You're here with us. Thank you. Work with me, God. Yes, we are the co-labors together, Holy Spirit. Yes, Perform your word. Yes. Bring clarity to every ear that will hear. Yes. Open up our hearts to receive yes, and our eyes to see. Yes. We give you praise, we give you honor, and we give you glory. Yes. In Jesus' name, yes. amen. You may be seated. Okay, so, Brother Virgil, I really don't have a topic right now. So the heroes, I want you to pull a topic for yourself. But I will tell you it's geared toward spiritual maturity. And so that we can spiritually reproduce. Amen. So if the Holy Spirit says that's the topic you're to use, then you're to use. But be a hero before you actually 
hear it. Okay, so I'm going to read Genesis chapter 1. And God said, let us make man in our image and our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every living, living over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herd bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed, to you it shall be for me. And I'm going to stop right there. Let me jump down to 31. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. Amen. Let me say that again. Very good. Amen. Very good. Amen. In other words, he didn't make no mistakes. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Now I want to go over to back to Leviticus chapter 20. And before I read this, let me explain to you. I'm going to try to take my time with this. Let me explain to you why the Lord is talking to us. <coughs> us includes me. And in a dream, God spoke this and revealed this spirit. And he said, bind the spirit of the jackass. I know. That's what the Spirit of the Lord revealed. Bind the spirit of the jackass. Now let me explain that. Jackass in the natural, and I'll be doing a, a comparison with the natural as it is in the spirit. Because that's what the word says. As it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit. In the natural, a jackass is a male donkey that cannot reproduce. Okay? They are just born. They are man-made by breeding a female horse with a male donkey. Man-made, not God-created. That's why I read it in the beginning. Man made. The spirit of a jackass is a hindering spirit that has come to stop the believers of Christ from reproducing a birthing forth. And you may ask, well, what are we reproducing and what are we birthing forth? If you go back to Genesis, when he go on down and tell Adam and Eve and gave them dominion, he, in the beginning he said, I let us. And I said, Lord, who is us? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may say, well, in the Old Testament, it was just God. But I made the difference. Right. Three in one. Right. He made us in his image and in his likeness. So he didn't tell Adam and Eve, go and be spiritual. He said, go and be fruitful and multiply. Amen. Why he didn't say, go 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm, the medicals with it. Yes, Lord. 13 and 16. Yes, Lord. 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 If a man also lie with mankind, as he lie with that woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be put upon them. Talking about homosexuality. Mankind lie with mankind. 14, and if a man take a wife and her mother it is wickedness. They shall be burned with fire, both he and they, that there be no wickedness among thee. Fifteen, if a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death, and you shall kill the beast. And if a woman approach him to any beast, and lie down there too, you shall kill the woman and the beast, they shall surely be put to death. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He's talking about the sin of a person. And he said it should not be named among us, his people. But he said that it is amongst the body of Christ. And it's like a stench to his nostril. And he's calling us to spiritual maturity. Spiritual growth because the world needs to know that he is their God as well as he is our God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The spirit of a jackass is stubborn. Stupid! That's a strong word. But when you look it up and you break it down, it's talking about unintelligent, uneducated. That's what it's talking about. Not calling us stupid in the way that the world will call us stupid. Remember, it's a spirit. It's a spirit. And it's a spirit of the demonic. It's a spirit of the devil. That comes to hinder. And I know. I said, God ain't got no stubborn spirit. The devil is alive. Yes, I got a stubborn spirit. And guess what? We all know what we want. Or we learn it from mama, daddy, somebody. If you tell the truth, why is we stubborn sometimes with our husbands? Husbands stubborn with the wife. And it comes into the church. And Jesus said, He's not pleased. The spirit of stubbornness must go. The pastor asked us to do something. You know what a stubborn spirit said? I know. It's my way. And I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to have it my way. Help us, Holy Ghost. I'm going to have it my way. And I'm going to do it my way. But let me tell you with Jesus Christ, he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except they come by him. The stubborn spirit must go. It's a knowing or detestable. He talked about detestable quite often through the Old Testament. Even with Sodom and Gomorrah, which was known as a city of homosexuality. And my message is not just dealt on homosexuality. He wants you to know your true identity. And the purpose that he said, be obedient and speak it, is because I want my people to come into true identity so you can go out and reproduce true identity. Amen. Says God. Amen. Amen. People don't know and some do because if they that know go and set the captives free. Loose them from the bonds of wickedness. Take the yoke off their neck of that nation. Ooh, ha, 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 
Jesus. I know I'm in the house. The Spirit of the Lord is talking. And I know He's talking. He said, No, that I created you in my image and in my likeness. And I look back and I said, Everything is good. Because in the natural object and his spirit cannot reproduce. That spirit is a loose in the body of Christ. That's hindering. And it might not be you. But God is talking to somebody because he wouldn't have gave this message. Yeah. 
emotions had caught up to that chick. So now it's a battle. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a battle. Yeah. Say, filled with the Holy Ghost, yeah. but on my back. And I'll never forget when the Holy Spirit spoke this to me right in the very act of fornication. He said, what if the very breath that I'm allowing you to breathe, what if I snatch it out of your body right now? Where will you spend eternity? Oh, wait, wait, that was somebody need to hear. Where? He told me. Rebellious and backsliding. 
my word is true. My word is true, says God. My word is true. My word is true. Reproduction creates something very similar.
That's why Paul dealt with the Corinthians. See, because this many desires to be saved, and so many of the body of Christ believers have misrepresented God. And we're going to be held accountable. That's a self examination. I didn't say it, God said it. That's a self-examination. And that's why we're not reproducing. And I'm not talking about reproducing members that come in here or whatever body you belong to. I'm talking about members. I'm talking about reproducing his likeness and his kindness into the kingdom of God. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. And this is only part. This is just part. This is just part. He that has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. What are you struggling with? What are you dealing with? He's here to help us. His Spirit is here. His Spirit is here to set the captives free, to deliver us, to destroy the yoke. Yes, the struggle is real, as some of the young people say. It's real. God know it's real. He said in his word in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, there is no temptation such as coming to man, but God who is faithful will take that temptation and you will be able to bear it. God not tempt. James said he don't tempt no man. But we are drawn by the lust of our flesh. And see, the enemy knows what you dealt with when you wasn't saved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he can do, he knows he can't touch you because you're coming under the blood of Jesus. And every angel has got you protecting you. So what he do is lure. Amen. He lure. Amen. See, I dealt with pornography. I dealt with pornography. Yeah. And guess what he trying to do it now? Lure. Right. Through the TV. Right. Amen. Through some of everything. When they dress yourself modestly. Come on. And I'm not talking about in no long dress. I'm talking about cover up. Yeah. It's only for your husband. Yeah. And if you ain't married, it's for your husband to come. Right. Yeah. That's right. Cover up. Amen. Let there be a difference. Between the world and the saints. Come on now. Alright. Alright. Ma'am, if you lost it in your mind, women come through that door. And if you still got a problem with lusting, there's a difference between looking and there's a difference between lusting. Yes, if you're struggling, the spirit of the Lord says he's here. Right. He wanna set you free. He already did over 2,000 years ago. But he that has an ear to hear. So you won't struggle any longer. That's what the Holy Spirit is your power, is your helper, is your keeper. He said, I'll keep you if you want to be kept. Amen. That's right. That's right. You won't have to leave your wife to go to somebody else's wife. You won't have to leave your husband to go to somebody else's wife. What are we teaching our children? What is our children seeing? 